What if the place you call home was under siege, with critical supplies of water, electricity, food, and fuel blocked at the borders? What if your city's infrastructure was crumbling under the weight of relentless bombardment? Welcome to the reality of Gaza. Rewind to the 7th of October. The conflict between Israel and Hamas escalated to an unprecedented level, starting with an attack launched by Hamas on Israel. The repercussions were devastating. More than 1,400 lives were tragically lost that day. Fast forward to the present day, and the health ministry in Gaza reports a staggering figure of over 3,700 casualties. This grim statistic underscores the urgency of the situation and the desperate need for assistance. As Israel continues the bombardment, hundreds of thousands of Gazans are forced to flee their homes, their lives upended in the blink of an eye. And as if the air raids weren't enough, Gaza remains under siege, with Israel blocking the necessary supplies from entering the territory. Amidst the chaos, a glimmer of hope emerges. U.S. President Biden secures an agreement with Egypt, allowing up to 20 lorries to cross into Gaza. However, according to aid agencies and the UN humanitarian chief, Martin Griffiths, this is a mere drop in the ocean. A minimum of 100 lorries a day is required to adequately address the crisis. Meanwhile in Jerusalem, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak meets with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, expressing support and stating, we want you to win. A statement that adds another layer of complexity to the ongoing crisis. In a significant development, hundreds of vehicles carrying vital aid wait desperately at the borders of Gaza, hoping to bring much-needed supplies to the war-torn territory. But the question remains, will this be enough to alleviate the suffering of the people of Gaza? Innocent lives hang in the balance, teetering on the edge of a humanitarian crisis. The international community must rally together to provide the necessary aid and support. A call to action echoes across the globe. Stay informed, stay involved. The situation in Gaza is dire and the world cannot afford to turn a blind eye. Subscribe to our channel for more updates and coverage of this ongoing crisis. Together we can make a difference.